Hi, I'm Rita. Welcome, welcome back to my booktube channel, Life Worth Reading. I am sick right now. I do have COVID. Um, I have a few more days in isolation here in my room, so that's why my voice is sounding extremely annoying so i do apologize for that but today i wanted to introduce you to another reading vlog and this reading vlog is actually it actually has a theme and the theme is a ya fantasy books that i picked up from my library basically i am a new fan i am in love with my public library that's near my house and they actually have a few great titles in english um, and i recently picked up three YA fantasy books that I've always been curious to read but not enough to actually like, spend money on buying the books and therefore I thought that I would do like a themed reading vlog reading these three YA fantasies and seeing what I think of them and seeing if I was right along to never buy them or if any of them actually surprised me the three books that I'll be reading in this reading vlog are firstly The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert this is actually the Alcrate exclusive edition which is incredible and I think that this book is about our main character Alice and her grandma wrote this very very weird grotesque fairy tale book that's very hard to find and it had like this really strange cult following and then her grandma dies and actually her mother is kidnapped as well and so Alice is set on this journey to try and find her mother again and she realizes that she's like being followed by the characters in her grandmother's fairy tales now the cover has always intrigued me but like never enough to actually buy or read the book but now I have it and I am currently reading it so my first update, update will be for this one and I'll let you know what I'm thinking so far. Next up we have Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This is the author that wrote, I can't remember the name of the other book. It's, it's recent, I'll, I'll put the cover here, I can't remember the name right now. But do I know what this book is about? Not really, give me a second. She's a pirate? Alright, so our main character is a pirate. Her name is Aloza. Aloza? I don't know. And I've heard about this book. It's one of those books that's way more undercover than the other two that I have. But I I think that I am curious to read this book. It was one of those that I just saw and I was like, I recognize this cover from somewhere. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this book. This book is actually from, let me see what year this was published in. Oh wow, somebody, somebody wrecked this book. This book is from 2017, this book I think is from 2018 and so I am like 5 years late to the hype but let's see if I like it or not and if I think that Trisha Leventhaler is a YA author worth reading. And finally I have perhaps a book that I am most excited about and it's actually the start of a series and that is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. And I heard about this book the first time, I think, from Emma Books like a million years ago because she really, really loved this trilogy. What I know about Ace of Shades is that it's set in the city of Sin, which is like this kind of Las Vegas on steroids kind of thing. And I know that our main character, whose name is N. Anne's mother disappears, which I now realize is kind of a similar plot to the Hazelwood. And she has to go find her and she has to go through the city of sin. I don't know a lot about it. I remember Emma Box really, really enjoying this trilogy and always talking it up. Um, I am excited because, I don't know, it just seemed like a good trilogy for me to start. And the other books actually aren't in my library. So if I do end up enjoying it, I will be having to like read them online or... God forbid, per purchase the books. But yeah, those are the three books that I'm reading. These are 300 and something pages, actually 400 pages. And I am excited for this vlog. I hope that you are too. And let's find out what I think about this three YA fantasies from a few years ago. Now, for my actual first update, last night I got to 100 pages in the Hazelwood, which is like about a third of the way through. And it's not great it's not great i actually went on goodreads and i saw that everyone that i know um and all my friends gave this 
like all of them gave it less than three stars so it wasn't like even a everyone gave it three stars it was kind of like middle of the world like everyone actively disliked this book and i can definitely see why because so far this feels like every other YA fantasy ever it has pretty much very like percy jackson vibes where our main character's mom like marries an evil stepdad and they don't like each other like the um, what's her name oh my god alice and alice doesn't like him and it feels just very like every other YA fantasy i've ever read and people say that it's also like very um self-indulgent in the alice in wonderland aspect i mean it makes sense because the place is called hinterland wonderland i mean yeah so so far it feels like every much every YA fantasy book ever and it's also like it's such like wish fulfillment i can't even like we have a main character that's been down on her luck ever since she was born very poor like always being the new kid which is like the most basic premise ever and then her grandmother dies and her mom says that she's actually like, finally free because they didn't used to talk to her grandma the one that has the the published the really weird grotesque fairy tale book and they're like free and so her mom like marries rich marries this evil guy and it's just very much wish fulfillment because suddenly she has like this great life even though she doesn't like the man but she has like this very like rich life in new york city and she goes to like this cute cute private school and the one cute guy in her school is like super interested in her because he used to, he loves her grandma's book and it's very much like wish fulfillment like so far it is very very basic and wish fulfillment which i generally do not enjoy in books and also i don't feel anything towards our main character she's like bitchy and cold but not in a complex like girl boss kind of way she's just the bitch and also it was like mentioned that she used to like hit her mom when she was 10 because she has like these really weird anger issues and i'm like why are we writing about children hitting their mothers like god i would never hit my mom oh, god, i would never hit anyone but my mom i, I just found it super weird and uh, and yeah so far what has happened no spoilers like so far what has happened is that her mom disappeared and she thinks that they were kidnapped right and they find out that they've been kidnapped by the characters from the fairy tales but so far we've only seen one of the fairy tales and it's not even a good fairy tale so it's not like even um a good story within a story it's just not also this gives me very much like starless sea vibes it's set in new york city we have this rich people that are looking for another world and it, i did not like the starless sea so it's just giving me all the basic quiet fantasy books like everything that i've already read before and so i'm not really i'm not really vibing with it but i will say that it is a quick read like i read 100 pages yesterday and it's only 300 pages so i'm hoping actually that i can finish it today and just move on to another book either that or i'll just dnf it straight up so let's see which one happens first but yeah that's my first update it's not going so well i should have looked at the goodreads reviews but here we are so let's see what else i can read today So I am on page 200 of the Hazelwood and oh my god besties, wait, let me focus. It is not going well for me, this book is not good, it is not good. Plus we just got to a point where Alice and Ellery were just stopped by the police and Alice just acts like a complete privileged bitch, she's like yelling at the cop. And Ellery, he is, um, I didn't quite understand if he was half black or um fully black i understood that his mom is from ghana um was from ghana because she is no longer living but i didn't understand if his father was white or not um but still so he's not white 
that's the main focus of this and he's like telling her shut up because he's like obviously very concerned about police brutality and about being stopped um at this traffic thingy and she's just so insensible and she's just such a bitch like such a bad main character to follow and so like even a fun like bad character it's just a bad character so yeah we're like 200 pages and nothing has happened yet they haven't gotten to the hazelwood there's nothing going on except bullshit and it's like wish fulfillment because like he's so rich so they can pay for anything and they're just like stopping at this motel and like sparks are flying and oh my god i just i'm really not enjoying it but let's keep going besties what the fuck is even going on in this book anymore i i am on page 250 i have 100 pages left and it's a mess like i have never been more confused reading a fantasy book like sometimes you read a fantasy book and nothing is making sense like you can't even picture what's happening because it's just so confusing that's exactly how i feel about this book the hinterland hazelwood parts are so stupid um we just got to like a little plot twist that i'm like what does that even mean like melissa albert what does that mean like what do you mean by this it's so confusing i i don't like it i don't like it but i i'm honestly feeling vindicated like i want to read the rest of it just to see how right i am about not liking it if that makes sense but yeah i'm not having a great time it is not making any type of sense so she keeps calling her mother by like her name like ella she's like oh ella does this ella does that i miss ella and i'm like just call her mom just just call her mom you know like nothing is creepy nothing is making sense none of the like fairy tale characters are interesting in any way shape or form it all just feels like a bad fever dream like a bad i don't know I'm gonna keep reading though. We love torture. Having COVID is not enough. I need to finish this book so I can really suffer. All right, so last night I finished The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Um, I finished it when I was in bed before I went to sleep. And this book was not it. How can I say this nicely? How can I put this nicely? This book made absolutely no sense and I have no idea how it was published. I have no idea what the editing process was like but this pretty much just made absolutely no no sense like i'm not even kidding like i had to skim even in the pages where i didn't skim like even when the, in the pages where i read like with my full attention like ev each and every line it made absolutely no sense my official view is that this is a two-star read I don't hate it, which is why it's not a one star because I only give one star book I actively disliked. I didn't actively dislike it. I'm just like, what did I read? Like, what have I read? As I mentioned in other clips, I did not like her main character, Alice. I did not care for her. She wasn't like a bitch, but like in a fun way or like there's more to her character. Like you just need to see like there's nothing more to her character. She was just a bad main character, I think. And the more you find out about this world the more the more nonsensical it becomes because there's this theory that maybe her grandma didn't come up with this world maybe she visited the world and then wrote the book about it and so there's this idea that the world is real and so they go to the world because you know because the book is called the hazelwood so you know that they end up going to the world um or at least to her grandma's estate that's related to the books it made no sense like they're being chased off by these fairy tale characters that are not scary the stories within the stories like the original fairy tales from the book are not are not interesting are not creepy they're just stupid and there's also this place called hinterland that's not the hazelwood and it's just it was just very confusing i didn't understand anything and besides our main character being a bitch there was also all these like weird aspects like the thing that i mentioned in the other clip where ellery because he is either half black i told you i don't remember if it, if he's half black or if he's just black but basically not white and they have this like encounter with cop and he tells her to be very careful because he knows that he's the one that will suffer if she decides to act on her own accord and she's just very dismissive of that and when like he yells at her and she's just like driving and she's just like scurs 
the car into like some trees and nearly kills them and i'm like what and then he's like is she like oh if you don't want me it kills both like you're gonna have to like not talk about this anymore and i'm like huh how are we supposed to like make sense that this guy is helping her when she's such a bad person and obviously like they're like sparks flying there's no real like romance but like obviously sparks are flying between them and i'm like how how does this man harbor any type of feelings towards this girl that's just like <sighs> it was bad i didn't understand any of it i wish i had read the good reviews and i wish i hadn't wasted my time reading but honestly it was just like one day of reading because you consume apparently you can consume nonsensical things very fast but yeah this one was definitely a flop in the three i'm going to start daughter of the pirate king next i think and hopefully that goes better because this book was a pop. Okay, so I actually haven't spoken to you ever since I started the second book for this vlog and that is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I haven't updated that I started this book but I did um, and my thoughts so far I'm on page 200 which is two-thirds of the way through because this is quite literally 310 pages I think so I'm very much 100 pages from finishing it and what do I think so far I think the first 100 pages that I've read like in a whole other day when I was still in isolation were very fun i liked the vibes of it i liked our main character elosa she is the daughter of like this pirate king that controls everything and every single one of the other pirates um he controls the entire ocean kind of and she's his daughter and so she's very much like this badass pirate lady she's a teen she's like 17 i think but um her plan is to get caught on purpose and kidnapped by the enemy ship so that she can look for a map there was this map that was divided in three parts and it is the map to the biggest like treasure island that there is and so her father has one of the parts and on this ship she has to look for the other part whilst pretending that she was kidnapped when she really wasn't that like this was the mission all along and the, the enemy part is trying to trade her for ransom and to discover like her father's layout because everyone wants to know because he's like the most powerful pirate and blah 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 and so they're trying to use her as leverage to get to him and she has to pretend like that's like she's on the ship against her will and what would you know how would you guess that on the ship there are all these nasty pirates except for the two like main dudes like the captain and the first mate i guess and their brothers and the the captain is so gross and like he's such a selfish boy but then the first mate he's so cute he's so pretty like how lucky are we that we have like a teen also aboard our enemy ship and he's so cute as well so like the first 100 pages were fun you could see that they obviously had chemistry you could see like the tension between them but then like it just got it just got too obvious I like the trope of like guy falls first and I like when guys are head over heels but this is supposed to be an enemy to lovers and it is not. He's just very much in love with her like since the first time that he saw her and he's like always protecting her and we're supposed to believe that they're enemies when this man is so clearly up her ass already like he he's like protecting her and she's like a prisoner but she's really not. Bitch is on a cruise. <laughs> like she's not on an enemy she like she is on a cruise okay she's having the time of her life he's bringing her food he's doing all this shit to her and then we got some steaminess already and it's like it doesn't feel earned it does not feel earned i don't know i'm not really loving it i thought that i would enjoy it more based on the first 100 pages but now it's just kind of also the writing is just so basic it is just very obvious she's like we're in her inner marley she's like oh that's so cheesy oh this and that and oh my god i can't believe you bought that and it's just very so like point and shoot that it's like it's too simple it's too obvious 
I want angst, I want tension, and none of it, it's not delivering. This is not enemies to lover, and it's not friends to lover either. It's more like love at first sight for him, and he just treats her really well, and she's just like trying to fight her feelings. She's like, oh, I can't. I need to fulfill this mission for my father. Like, this is the most reckless thing I have done. And it's like, what okay, is this? What okay, is this? But you also just kind of been kissing him at the same time and you're kind of into him mm, i'm just not loving it but we have 100 pages left so let's see what's ha what happens because she's in a very tricky situation right now that involves both the brothers so there's also this reveal about who she really is or what she really is it was very obvious from like page one i didn't think it was like a secret but yeah, let's see what the last 100 pages have to give. Okay, so yesterday night I finished Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller and this is a 2.5, rounded up to a 3. I did not really enjoy this book and I'm going to tell you why. The story was interesting, the action was interesting, I liked our main character, I guess. But it was just one of those books where it's like, it's too obvious what the author was trying to do. And she's trying to like tell you everything. And the inner monologue of this character was so uninteresting. Because she's like, oh, of course this happened. It's because of this. And of course I feel like this. It's because of this. And obviously that this happened because of this. And it's like, it's one of those like spoon feeding you information and info dumping in the most obvious and boring way ever and so i really didn't like it the twist of what our main character is or like who she is was very obvious as well it was not like well done and it's like it does not build up and then all of a sudden she's talking about like all these things that she can do and it's like if you could do that why didn't you use this in like a hundred pages earlier when you were in this kind of trouble and that would have helped you get out of it so it was just a mess the romance did not do it for me overall it was fine maybe i'll read the second one probably not but moving on to my last one which is ace of shades by amanda Fudi. this is the one that i have the most high hopes for this is one that i feel like has the most potential for me to actually like it because the two that i've read so far have been complete duds so let's see what happens i'm going to read some of it this afternoon and let's see Let's see how it measures up to the other two, but it won't be a tough contest because I didn't really like the other two. So here's the hoping that I like at least one of them. But yeah, I will see you later. So I actually haven't spoken to you in a little bit um, I think it's been like a week since I've been reading Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodi um, Unfortunately, I got sick again And then also my dog um, I have a dog and he's kind of old now And he had to have surgery on his teeth to remove some of them And he had like some unfortunate um, complications So it's been like a really tough week actually 
um, not only because I was sick, but also because of my dog. We've been to like the hospital a lot of times with him. He's currently in the hospital. So I have been, I have been struggling. I have been truly in the trenches. But I wanted to update you because I am 250 pages into Ace of Shades. I only have 150 pages left and I want to finish it today or tomorrow morning because I want to upload this video tomorrow. My three um, Y fantasy books vlog. And so I do want to finish it today so that I can do that. Um, what am I thinking so far? I... Honestly, so I can't remember what I explained about this Ace of Shades, but it's about our main character N, and she is from like this very prestigious place, but she is um, like a common girl kind of, um, and her adoptive mother goes a lot to the city of Sint, which is New Reigns, and she goes there a lot, and N doesn't know why, and one time she did go and she hasn't come back yet. And she always told Anne, if I'm not back in two months, I'm dead. And so Anne thinks that she has died and is like looking, desperately looking for her in the city of Sin. And she involves herself in a lot of trouble because it is like a tough Las Vegas type of place. And her adoptive mother also tells her like, go look for this guy named Levi or Levi. Um, go look for him because he will help you. And so she goes looks for she goes looking for him. And honestly, I thought when I first read the synopsis, I thought that it, he would be like an old guy, because he was friends with the adoptive mother. So I, I was thinking like a Hamish situation in the Hunger Games, and I kind of wanted that. But it's actually like this cute boy, <laughs> which I'm not mad about because I do like Levi, and he's like this cute black bisexual boy, but. <laughs> I just I really thought it would be like a Hamish situation, like a, a older man just helping her through the city of sin, but it's not. And we kind of have like this romance going on because they're like two the two young people and they're like falling in love. And I'm not really loving the romance because I it's not what I wanted out of the story, but it is cute. But I am like the fifth the first like 50 pages were really hard for me to get into the story. I don't know why it was really really hard for me to get into it. But I am really, really enjoying it. Um, the politics of the world, like the revolution and like there's things called like the monarchs. I'm not into the story. I'm not into the politics. I think it's a bit not well developed enough for me to understand it. Um, also the like split talents because everyone has like this blood talent and split talent. That's also kind of confusing to me. So there are some aspects to these that I'm like kind of, hmm, that's kind of confusing. But overall, I am really enjoying it. I only have 150 pages left. I, I'm really into the story. I can't wait to read the rest of the series because it feels like one of those where the books just keep getting better. And so I'm very, very excited to read it. And I honestly just can't wait. So I will update again. But yeah, we've been, we've been discovering some stuff about Anne. And I'm like, wow. It's really spicy. So I'm really enjoying it. And I'm going to keep reading. Hi, so I have just finished Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody and I think I'll be giving it four stars. I really enjoyed this book. There were some things that I wasn't absolutely crazy about, which is why I didn't get a five star, but the setting was super interesting. The story in itself was interesting as well. There were some very spicy reveals, like it was a very entertaining book. It wasn't just a straightforward story because you just you kept discovering more and more about our main characters and about this world and I'm very excited for the next books actually. What else? I mean in the last clip I told you basically what was happening. N and Levi are got it, they were stuck in some in some adventures because there's a lot of this element of mafia leaders or mafia like leaders and they were they owed someone a favor and so they were stuck in some very tricky situations but i will say that one thing i didn't really like um towards the end was that we discovered that there's this thing called i'm not going to go into specifics so i don't think that this can be considered a spoiler but there's a thing called a shadow game right in new reigns and it's supposed to be like this very scary game. I'm not gonna say any specifics, but it's supposed to be very scary and people like die at this game. And so I expected it to be something a little bit more dark, a little bit more 
interesting because when we actually get to see what the game is about I was a little bit underwhelmed um, I will say that and what else will I say the romance again yeah like you just know like I knew from page one when I found out that Levi was actually like a teenager just as Anna was and not a mentor like Hamish I already knew that there was going to be a romance so I don't think that this can be considered a spoiler like two teenage people of opposite genders um, two teenage people in a Y fantasy book like you just know that they're gonna fall in love right so I just uh, it's not what I wanted I'm interested but I'm not loving it I'm not like dying for their chemistry because I just I didn't really feel like a romance was necessary for this book because the story in itself was so interesting and the um, world was so interesting that I wish they they specifically weren't together and maybe in the next books I would like find other people for each other so Levi would find someone and then Anne would find someone but yeah not really loving the romance but overall this was the best book that I read for this video I'm going to wrap up all the books now but this was definitely like the biggest surprise I am very interested in it but I will say that I don't really see the connections with Six of Crows I guess because Levi is kind of like a con man and we are living in a place kind of dirty Kind of like in six of crows but other than that i don't really see the six of crows connections honestly but yeah so for this video i read three YA fantasy books you might be missing here one the hazelwood by melissa albert it was the first one that i read and i had to give it back to my library because my loan had expired so i no longer have it physically with me but let's start there shall we so the hazelwood was the worst book that i read for this video um, I'm sad that I started with it, but it seemed like we like went um, up towards a four-star rating, so that's at least fine. But yeah, I give it two stars. The Hazelwood was very bad. You've already seen me ranting about it in some clips, so I will spare you the details again. But it was just very generic. It was very confusing. Holy shit, I still do not understand one single thing that happened in that book. I thought it was so mediocre, badly edited just a mess in general honestly just just a mess so no i will not be continuing the duology i'll be saving myself that trouble because it was a bad book i do not recommend it i think there are so much better why fantasies out there and do not waste your time um the next book that i read was daughter of the pirate king by trisha love and seller and this book was a three star it was fine it was mediocre some people really enjoyed this i went to see the reviews and some people really like the romance, some people really like the banter between them, some people really like like the pirate action. I stand by it, it was a fun book. The premise was interesting. I don't think I've ever read a pirate book before. So at least that was new to me and it was interesting. I liked our main character, but the romance felt really flat for me. It was very mediocre. I saw no chemistry between them, honestly. And I think that towards like the halfway point it just became too obvious like our main characters in her monologues became very plain and she was just over explaining everything that was going on to a point where it was no longer interesting and the plot just didn't go exactly where i thought it would and it didn't go in the most interesting direction i will say but if you like romance if you like pirate books i think that this could be a good one I don't really know because I haven't read another pirate book before but from the reviews I think that people do enjoy this book so I think that if you like any of these elements you will enjoy this but I will say that the writing I wasn't crazy about I thought it was very basic and yeah just the inner monologue the over explanation of things the spoon feeding information I wasn't really into I'm still deciding whether or not I want to read the second one let me know if you have read the second one if you think that it's worth it i see the reviews and i thought that people people thought the second one was better than the first one so if i enjoyed this one i might give it a go but it's not like for sure like i'll think about it but yeah three stars it was a fine read a good time but nothing like spectacular and yeah then we had ace of shades that i really really enjoyed it was my favorite from this experience by far i thought that the writing was cute it wasn't like life-changing or anything but the writing was cute the setting was well developed the vibes were there um and it was just very interesting like i still don't understand some of the things about the politics and stuff but i think that towards the rest of the books you will be 
you'll be getting a better explanation of this world i i will say so yeah i'll be definitely reading the rest of the series it's a trilogy i'm very excited my library does not have them so i'll be reading in a script probably but i really enjoyed this i'm very happy with this experiment and let me just say mostly i didn't miss out on a lot because i didn't read these books when they came out i didn't buy them but it was overall just a fine experience i just i'm not crazy about ya i'm not crazy about ya fantasy but I'm happy with the books that I read, except for The Hazelwood. The Hazelwood is trash and you cannot change my mind. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my bookish content. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a nice day and always remember that life is worth reading.